one of the things when you get on that first call with the brand is that your consultant is coaching you on what to ask. Some people want to go right in full speed and say, um, hello, yeah, I'm interested in your brand, how much can I make? That's not really how the process works. So on that first call, it's going to be a brand overview call where you can ask questions about the leadership team, what makes them special, what sets them apart from their competitors, um, some of the systems that they have in place, and really get to know about the support infrastructure that's there and what you're really getting out for the royalty that you're paying. When I started with the franchise system, uh, I saw the top producer within that franchise system doing a number that I thought was the, you know, the goal that I wanted to reach, and I joined that system. What I realized was I didn't ask some questions that were really important, which was, who is your top producer within your system? And then one of the main questions is why? So in this scenario, that franchisee had specific relationships he had built over 30 years. He was in a specific market where uh, the relationships made sense and worked, and he was able to hit certain benchmarks that I learned I was not able to. Not because I didn't have the skills or the ability, but because I didn't have those specific skills. And so one of the questions that we always encourage our clients to ask is, who is your top producer and why? And then figure out if you have skill sets that match that specific top producer. You may not, that's okay. There's a brand that does have uh, you know, your same skill sets that would match to make you the top franchisee. And another follow-up would be not just the skill set of their ideal candidate, but also what about geography, demographic? Is there a specific market that they feel like would be optimal for this type of business and how do they identify it? When validating with a franchisee or when learning about a brand, what is your favorite part of the role? Like what's your day to day? What gets you out of bed that excites you about this business? And really listen to them about that. And then you need to also ask, every business has its pros and its cons. No business is not gonna have a negative you know, component to some degree. And what you need to ask is what, you know, what makes you wanna sell this business one day? What's that thing that you, know, you don't like about this business? And then it's deciding if one, can you deal with that component or can you delegate that component? You know, I'll give you an example. We have a lot of our clients that get into service businesses and they know that they need to manage, you know, a team of people that, you know, may be transient by nature or maybe, you know, at a lower pay uh, scale than other, other businesses. And, you know, we always encourage, well, can you hire a manager that handles with that component or are you okay with being the, the head trainer for your business ongoing? How many hours a week is a typical owner spending on this business? Is that gonna fit with your lifestyle goals? Is it gonna interrupt going to the baseball games or um, creating those moments with your family? What type of lifestyle do you want? Maybe you're a workaholic and maybe that's what they're looking for, um, solely owner operator. Maybe it's something that could be run a little bit more semi-absentee. I feel like semi-absentee can be almost subjective depending on the brand. So ask them, what does that look like? Is it 10 hours a week? Is it 15 hours a week? Um, is it 20? And find out if that's gonna align with what you want for you and your family. This is a funny one, but find out what the day-to-day -day, uh, expectation of your wardrobe is. Okay, I know it sounds silly, but when you get into a business, maybe you're someone that enjoys wearing a suit and you know, and a, and a, and a jacket, and you know, that's the kind of person that you, you, know, you wanna be. Where I see other franchise uh, candidates, they think they want to be, you know, in a service business, but they're not comfortable being in that kind of environment. Are you okay managing, you know, a blue collar type of employee, or do you need that more, you know, uh, white collar type of uh, uh, teammate? Are you okay with a business that's open on weekends or not? These are questions not only to ask the franchise or but yourself. What is your ongoing support look like for someone with my type of background that hasn't done this before? Or maybe you are experienced. Um, what type of systems do they have in place? Is there someone that comes on site in the beginning every single week to make sure you're successful? Um, what type of input do you have on marketing? There's a lot of questions that your consultant can put together for you. And you can always schedule a call with us. We'd be more than happy to help coach you on that first initial call. One thing I would definitely coach you not to ask is those financial questions on the first call. And it's not because they are being evasive, but they will dedicate that full second call to what they call unit economics. And they'll be able to answer all your questions there. My name is Dan Claps, founding partner at Find a Business Online. My name is Natalie Gold, managing partner at Find a Business Online. If you find the education that we're providing useful, we encourage you to schedule a consultation call with any of the franchise consultants within our team. And of course, thanks for watching.